What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I'm going to do a penetration test with my POF Rogue AR-10 chambered in 308 Winchester. And I'm going to be shooting it at some 16 gauge sheet metal. And the purpose of the test is to see how many sheets of 16 gauge heavy duty sheet metal an AR-10 chambered in 308 can penetrate through. And the sheet metal that I'm going to use for this test, again, just some basic 16 gauge sheet metal. And I bought these pieces of sheet metal at my local home improvement store. They're one foot by one foot square sheets. And they're 16 gauge, so they're a heavy duty steel sheet metal. And as you can see, they're quite thick. All right, a sixteenth of an inch thick for each sheet. So this is not the type of sheet metal that you can just cut with regular shears. You need special sheet metal shears to cut through it. So it's heavy duty stuff. And I have a special wooden jig that I made to space out the sheets about an inch and a half apart. So these sheets are going to be spaced out. They're not going to be tight together so we're going to be able to see exactly how many sheets an AR-10 carbine chambered in 308 can penetrate through and this is part two so if you haven't seen part one I recommend you watch it I'll leave a link in the top right corner of this video in part one I used full metal jacket ammunition or M80 ball and in this test I'm going to use some soft points so I'm going to use two different types of soft points. I'm going to use a solid copper expanding bullet, and I'm going to use a bonded jacketed soft point. So I'm going to use some factory ammo here. I have some buffalo bore and some federal. So for the solid copper expanding bullet, I'm going to use the buffalo bore 150 grain 308 Winchester supercharged TTSX. This is... A Barnes bullet tipped triple shock X is what TTSX stands for. This is 150 grains. And out of my 16 inch barrel POF Rogue, I get a muzzle velocity of 2700 feet per second. So this bullet is traveling quite fast. And for the jacketed soft point, I'm using some Federal Fusion 150 grain. And the Federal Fusion is a bonded bullet, so it has a lead core and a copper jacket, and the jacket and core are bonded together. So these bullets are really tough, and I've chronographed this load out of my 16-inch barrel POF Rogue. I get a muzzle velocity of around 2,650 feet per second, also traveling quite fast for a 16-inch barrel so I'm really curious how many sheets of heavy-duty 16-gauge sheet metal these 308 Winchester soft points or expanding bullets will penetrate through. And I recommend you guys check out part one, so this way you get a comparison to the full metal jackets. And I want to just show you guys the rifle I'm going to be using in this test. So I'm going to be using my POF. Rogue, that's Patriot Ordnance Factory. They're based out of Arizona. And this rifle has a 16 inch barrel. They say it's match grade. I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that, if that's cut rifled or button rifled, but it's a very accurate AR 10. And I have this Silencer Co. flash hider that I use. And I normally thread my Silencer Co. Omega 300 onto this rifle, but right now it's on my 300 Win Mag. And I have a Sig Sauer Whiskey 5 2 to 10 power second focal plane scope. I actually prefer second focal plane scopes. I have a Burris Fast Fire 3 on the top for quick acquisition up close. And I have a Sniper Tools bubble level and angle cosine indicator. And I have this Blue Force Gear sling, okay? Vickers Combat Sling, excellent sling. 
And I just have a steel magazine here. This is a steel 20 round magazine. And I have a Magpul grip on there. So let's see what happens, guys. Let's see how many sheets of heavy duty sheet metal and AR-10 carbine with soft points will penetrate through. So take a guess and let's see what happens. All right, guys, got the POF Rogue AR-10 chambered in 308. Got our 16 gauge sheet metal 50 yards out. And I got some Buffalo Boar 150 grain TTSX and a Federal Fusion 150 grain bonded soft point. First shot is going to be with the Buffalo Boar TTSX and the second shot is going to be with the Federal Fusion. All right, guys, so here were my shots with the 308 AR-10. Here was the Federal Fusion 150 grain. And then I actually took two shots with the Buffalo Boar 150 grain TTSX because my first shot was a little bit too close to a prior test that I did with the 416 Ruger. I thought that actually at this distance it would hit a little bit high like up here. But I guess with this TTSX, the velocity is a lot higher than the ammo I normally shoot. So it's not as high. So it actually hit over here. I was hoping it would hit somewhere up here. And that was just too close to the 416. So I wanted a second shot in some fresh metal. So I took a second one there. So let's see how many sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal. The 308 soft points went through. So we'll start with the fusion. So here's sheet one. There's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it stopped at the eighth sheet. So seven sheets with Federal Fusion, 150 grain 308 out of a 16 inch barrel AR-10. And check out that wound channel through the steel. Look at that guys, look at how the hole just got progressively bigger as, as the bullet expanded. So here was the first sheet and then you can see it just expanded massively and look at the hole 
in the seventh sheet, that hole is just insane. I mean, I can fit my whole finger through there easily. So let's see how the TTSX did. We'll start with this one in the fresh steel. So this is the first hole. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it got stopped by the 10th sheet. So nine sheets with the Buffalo bore, 150 grain TTSX. The muzzle velocity of around 2700 feet per second out of my AR-10 and let's take a look at this one now so there's the first sheet so here's the second sheet three four five six seven eight and it looks like it got stopped by the ninth sheet there okay it stopped right there so eight and nine sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal with the buffalo bore 150 grain TTSX and seven sheets with the federal fusion so that's pretty impressive guys I'd say out of an AR-10 that's really impressive that's about a half inch of steel that's almost as much penetration as my 300 wind mag with soft points so I'm going to try to recover the bullets and I'm going to bring these sheets home and we'll take a closer look at them. I'll show you guys the damage that was done to the metal in each sheet and I'm going to take a closer look at the bullets with you. But that's pretty impressive guys. The Federal Fusion penetrating through seven sheets. I definitely did not expect that. I was thinking maybe four or five but it just punched right through all that sheet metal that is just insane so we got fragments of the federal fusion down in there as you can see lots of lead fragments check this out look at all that lead just chunks of lead everywhere all right, guys, I want to give you an up-close look at the sheets and the bullets. I managed to recover some of the bullets. And so the 308 Federal Fusion 150 grain bonded soft point penetrated through seven sheets. And this is 16 gauge sheet metal. And that's only one sheet less than actually my 300 Win Mag with 180 grain acubons. So I was really surprised at how deep these 308 expanding bullets penetrated into the sheet metal. Just one sheet less than my 300 Win Mag with expanding bullets. And the Buffalo Bore 150 grain TTSX penetrated through eight and nine sheets. Again, just one sheet less than my 300 Win Mag with Barnes LRX bullets, which are very comparable to the TTSX. So really impressive results with the 308 out of only a 16 inch barrel, I was able to penetrate almost as much as my 300 Win Mag with a 20 inch barrel. And just like with the 300 Win Mag and the 416 Ruger tests that I did, the expanding bullets with the 308 were basically able to penetrate almost as deep as the full metal jackets so if you didn't see the full metal jacket test which was part one i'll leave a link in the top right corner of this video but the full metal jackets penetrated through eight and nine sheets so basically the ttsx penetrated the same amount of sheet metal as the m80 ball full metal jackets and the Federal Fusion bonded soft point only penetrated one or two sheets less than the full metal jacket. So it's really interesting how with sheet metal, you don't have that huge difference between soft points or expanding bullets and solids or full metal jackets. If you're shooting at things like wood or ballistics gel or water, there's a huge difference in penetration when you're using full metal jackets or solids in comparison to 
expanding bullets, there's a, usually a 50% difference in penetration. Usually an expanding bullet will penetrate 50% less in ballistics gel than a solid, okay? But when it comes to sheet metal, it's a lot different, okay? It doesn't really matter if it's solid or if it's an expanding bullet. It doesn't matter because what happens is if it's an expanding bullet, the expanding bullet will just flatten out and mushroom but it'll still continue to punch through the sheet metal until it slows down and loses enough energy. So it's a little bit different than ballistics gel or wood or other materials. So here we have the first sheet and I'll show you guys my hits. So this was the Federal Fusion and then I had to take two shots with the Buffalo Bore 150 Green TTSX because one of the shots I came a little bit close to the 416 Ruger test shot that I did so I took a second shot up here so I could get some nice fresh steel so this is the first sheet here's the back of the first sheet what's interesting is even in the first sheet you can see how the Federal Fusion kind of left a more ragged exit hole Versus the TTSXs, they kind of just punched cleaner through. Okay, so pretty interesting. Here's the second sheet. And here's our TTSX, TTSX Federal Fusion. And you can see on the TTSX bullet hole there, you can see the copper that was deposited in that hole. Okay, same thing over here. You can see the copper, but on the Fusion, you don't see that copper or not as much. And then here's our two holes from the TTSX. You can see a clean cut. Look at that, guys. It's like a laser. And the Federal Fusion, also a pretty clean cut. Here's the third sheet. Here's our Federal Fusion. Here's our TTSX, TTSX, and you can see there's a little bit of like lead starting to deposit on the outside here, okay? And here's the back of the third sheet, still clean holes there. You can see how the copper was deposited from the TTSX bullet. Here we have the fourth sheet, and the TTSX holes are really starting to get larger now, and the fusion hole is noticeably larger than the TTSX, and you can see some of that lead dust getting deposited there. And here's the back of the fourth sheet. Look at the size of that hole now, pretty big hole, and then here we have the TTSXs. You can see how much smaller the TTSX holes are compared to the Federal Fusion. Here we have the fifth sheet, TTSX, TTSX Fusion. You can see a lot more lead being deposited here in the fifth sheet around that Federal Fusion hole. Here's the back of the fifth sheet. And look at how these TTSX bullets just punched through that metal and they left this little sharp piece there. Pretty interesting. Look at that huge exit hole there from the Federal Fusion. Here we have the sixth sheet. Here's our TTSX holes, Federal Fusion hole. Look at the size of this hole, guys. I can literally fit my whole thumb in there. Check that out. Massive hole. Those Federal Fusions are really impressive bullets, guys. And here's the back of the sixth sheet. Look at the size of that hole. That's just insane. Look at that. And here's our TTSX holes. And here's the seventh sheet. And this is the last sheet that the Federal Fusion penetrated through. Look at all that lead dust around the hole there. And then here's our two TTSX holes. And here's the back of the seventh sheet. Check this out, guys. Look at how the TTSX just blasted through that metal. 
and this metal's actually really sharp. Check that out. This is like razor sharp here, but it just blasted through. It's absolutely impressive. And then here's the Federal Fusion. And here's our eighth sheet. And as you can see, the Federal Fusion was stopped by the eighth sheet. Look at all the lead everywhere. Check that out. Pretty big dent. It's a massive dent, actually. Let me just show you guys the back. Look at that dent there. It's pretty insane. And then here's our two holes from the TTSX. And look at how one of these TTSXs just blasted through that metal. That is just insane. Look at that. It's like a can opener. It's absolutely impressive. And then here's our ninth sheet, and one of the TTSXs was stopped by the ninth sheet. You can see this big dent there. And then the other TTSX still going through. So look at that dent. Check that out. That's crazy. And then here's the other TTSX. And then that other TTSX got stopped by the tenth sheet. And here's the dent on the back of the tenth one. So I want to just show you guys the bullets up close. And let's take a closer look at them. All right, guys. So I want to show you the bullets now. So here's our TTSX on the left and the Federal Fusion on the right. Look at this TTSX. It pretty much maintained most of its shape. It flattened out, obviously, because it is an expanding bullet, but for the most part, it maintained most of its shape. Look at that, guys. It's really impressive. Just give you guys a really close look at it. Check that out. Got that ballistic tip still embedded in there. But check that out. That's really cool. And one side of the bullet got smoothened out, I'm guessing because of the metal. Just kind of smoothened it out on that one side. It's pretty interesting. So here's our Federal Fusion. And believe it or not, the Federal Fusion actually kind of stayed together. I mean, a lot of it is missing, but you can see the jacket here. And there's still a good bit of lead attached to the jacket. Check that out. There's the lead core, and then the jacket there. You can see how the jacket peeled back, and it looks like half of the bullet is basically missing. But still, this half is kind of together. The lead is still attached to it, so it's pretty impressive for an expanding bullet. And then here we just have chunks of metal from the sheet metal and what happens is when you shoot at sheet metal like this the bullet acts like a hole puncher and it's kind of like a hole puncher you use in grade school when you're punching paper and you have those little round pieces of paper that come out of the hole puncher and that's basically what happens when you shoot at sheet metal like this when it's spaced out the bullet actually punches a little hole and there's a little coin or metal disc and those metal discs stack up against each other as the bullet plows through all of the sheet metal and then they fuse together from heat and energy and then you have this mass of metal just fused together you can see like multiple of these coins just fused together here's another one Pretty interesting. And these were from the TTSX. You can see that copper color in there. And I'll show you actually one of these TTSXs just fits perfectly. I think this one here it just kind of fits right inside. So as the bullet was going through all the metal, it just removed these coins and then they stacked up against each other as it was plowing through. And then here's just some miscellaneous pieces of metal. Check that out, how the bullets just plowed right through. 
absolutely impressive. And then here's one disc that I found attached to the Federal Fusion. So pretty interesting. Check that out. So since I actually have this bullet not fused to any metal, I'm going to weigh this and we're going to see what kind of weight retention we got. And I'll also weigh the Federal Fusion and we'll see what kind of weight retention we got. All right, guys. So I got my digital reloading scale and I got this 100 gram weight. I'm just going to make sure that it's zeroed out. It's pretty much zeroed out. So let's just start with the TTSX. Look at that bullet, guys. 146.1 grains. I'd say that's pretty good for penetrating through eight or nine sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal. Here's our 150 grain Federal Fusion. 115.7 grains. Wow. So it actually retained quite a bit of its weight. So I'm pretty impressed, guys. I really think the 308 is honestly the best general purpose cartridge from hunting to SHTF, home defense. I really love the 308. It's very cost effective. It gives good penetration. It gives you some good long range capabilities. And it's also very easy on the shoulder when you're shooting it. But anyway, guys, if you want to see more of my sheet metal penetration tests, check out my sheet metal penetration tests playlist. I'll leave a link in the top right corner of the screen. And if you want to see more 308 Winchester tests and content, check out my 308 Winchester playlist. I'll leave a link to that one as well. And also check out part one of the 308 verse sheet metal test for the M80 ball slash full metal jacket bullets if you want to see how those did against the sheet metal other than that check out my sponsors i have a lot of great sponsors and i have a lot of good discounts for them you can get up to 10 percent off on flashlights holsters background check services up to 20 percent off on freeze-dried food so check out my sponsors i'm sure you're going to find something you like and it'll also help me out and it'll help you out because you get a discount. So that's it for this one. Take care. May God bless you. May God bless America. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.